Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and I'm going to talk about e extradition to Arizona or from Arizona. Now, this is pursuant to Arizona Revised Statute 13 3855 or 13 3857. Now, what happens in an extradition is there can be an interstate transfer between two states or intrastate between counties. Now, what happens is if a person is picked up, the police can only hold them for 90 days or they'll have to be released. The other state or other county has to pick them up during that time. Now, a person can either waive extradition, meaning, look, I don't want to fight it, just get me to the other state as quick as possible, or they can challenge the charging document based on probable cause. Now, the other state, once there is a challenge, must submit a governor's warrant. That's a warrant signed by one governor. It's reviewed by the Arizona governor, and if the Arizona governor approves it, then a warrant of extradition is filled out by our governor. Then there'll be an extradition hearing. At the hearing, we'll first do an identity hearing. Is this the right person? Did the person who commit crime get a fake ID in their old roommate's name and they're faking it? Is it two people with similar names and it's not the same person? That's what we're going to challenge. Also, you can challenge under what's called a writ of habeas corpus. And if we do that, we're going to say the jurisdiction is not proper. The bail amount is set too high or it is factually deficient on its face. So there are ways to challenge extradition or governor's warrants. If the warrant is upheld, then there'll be a transfer within two weeks. Uh, what happens is they'll say, okay, time to go, the warrant's upheld. It usually takes about two weeks to send somebody across country hitching rides with either, um, either the U.S. Marshals buses or airplanes, things of that nature. Now what our goal is, if you've been hit with an extradition warrant, is to negotiate with the other state's prosecutor and say, look, can Mr. Johnson show up two weeks from now on such and such date? Will you release him from custody so he can get his affairs in order here and he'll show up on court on this date? And many times prosecutors will okay that and they'll say no problem. They'll withdraw their extradition warrant. We immediately show it to the courts here. They release the individual and then we can get them transferred to the other state where they can take care of their problems in that state. So if you or a loved one has been hit with an extradition warrant or picked up and arrested, give us a call or go to dmcantor.com and fill out a contact form. We'll get right back to you, set an appointment in our office. It doesn't cost anything to meet with us, but it does take about 30 minutes. We'll go over everything from top to bottom and explain exactly what we can do to help you out. Take care.